I want to share a few more creative ways that I've been filming myself while I've been driving or in and around my vehicle. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Wire Creatives, and today I wanted to show you a few more creative angles I've found using the combination of the small rig suction cup with their arm and the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 to be able to solo film yourself while you're driving or in and around your vehicle. So Amazon dropped a package and I gotta go grab that real quick. So I got the package. Now this is going to be related to the DJI Osmos Pocket. And it's going to be something I use for a future episode. Ta-da! Hopefully you can't see this and I actually blur this out. Now I wanted to talk about setting shots up similar to ones I've used. This is something that I use. It is a small rig arm and I actually use this for lighting my desk. I'll hook this up to part of a pole I have and then the light on the end of it, but you can use this in the vehicle. I'm trying to lean over here. Now what I do for this is I'll take this and I'll clamp it here to the headrest, the little arms that go between it, and then angle the camera whichever way I want it. So if you do this one and flip it to behind, you can get that shot that's kind of over the shoulder or similar to the one that you put on the back window. Or if you leave it up here, you can kind of still get the shot that I have here from the passenger seat that's kind of a profile shot. So two little extra shots right there. The equipment needed to do these shots is gonna be a small rig suction cup with a small rig arm. And this is gonna be linked up here to the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. To use the suction cup, you're gonna to wanna to find a clean surface. So clean if you haven't and you're simply gonna press it against it and press this until you can't anymore. And that's gonna get the good suction around here. You wanna make sure that it's relatively flat and not to curb too much. You'll see once it's on there, it's on there. Now to release this, you'll simply press this valve and then press either on the top or bottom and it will pop right off. Let me know in the comments if you found any of those angles something you may use in your workflow and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next time